Can somebody please tell me? Can somebody please just tell me? Why are Uber drivers so fat? Why are they all so fat? Every time, every time I go to the airport, I'm stopped at the airport, I get out of the car, I see, I, I take a look at everybody there. Everybody I see is overweight, got a gut, you know, just fat, back fat, belly fat, just fat, fat face, fat everything. Like what, just because you're a driver, you don't have to take care of yourself? Like, I just don't fucking get it. Well, actually, I do get it, you know what? Because I was that fat slob. I was that fat slob, out of shape, overeating, eating chips, eating ice cream, eating, uh, you know, my a lot of times my dinner or my lunch was the vending machine. Dude, it's so terrible, so terrible. And then, of course, Uber gives you, like, uh, discounts over at 7-Eleven so you can get some fucking snacks. Fuck that shit. Fuck all those snacks. Fuck that shit. What you need to do, especially, number one, quit drinking, right? So I was drinking all the time. I was eating potato chips, eating ice cream, eating out of the vending machine. All that shit has to stop. Like, you got to stop that shit and you got to start eating healthy. Like, if nothing else, if you're not going to focus on yourself financially, at least start, fo and, and getting out of Uber, at least start focusing on your health, right? So there's a couple steps here for you. Like, if you're out of shape, if you're not enjoying yourself, you're not enjoying your life as an Uber driver, there's a reason why right? Number one, it's not financially satisfying. Number two, your health is probably poor, right? So you're not working out, you're eating like shit, you feel like shit, and you just keep repeating the cycle again and again. And of course, when you're out there driving, it doesn't help when you're out there driving. I mean, that shit sucks. That shit sucks. You're dealing with traffic, you're dealing with bitchy ass people on the road, everybody's being a bitch. And you know, and then you can't, like, it's just hard to get anywhere. It's an aggressive place to work and spend all your time every day. And it wears you down mentally. I know this because it wears me down. It wears me down mentally. That's why I only try to do part-time now. I think it's totally unhealthy to be driving full-time like I used to do. I used to do 60 and 80 hours a week. I was drinking every night. I was eating potato chips every night, um, ice cream, you know, you name it. I was just eating because I was depressed and I was just eating junk and I felt like shit. And then I just kept repeating the process again and again. So number one, take care of your health, right? These, these, uh, you're all fat. You're all fat. I, I bet there's like not, there's probably 1% of you that are actually in shape. And I'll tell you this right now, I quit drinking over a year ago and I got myself in shape. I've been working out every, like just about every single day, just about every single day. And I shit you not at 90 out of hundred days, I work out 99. Okay. That's for real. I do this all the time. Uh, somebody hit me up in my comments today on one of the videos that I posted. Uh, I forget what I think it was about the earnings. So on Mondays, I'm doing my earnings now because I'm driving, I'm driving consistently, you know, three, four, maybe even five days a week but I'm just doing the mornings, right? So I set my schedule and I just do the mornings. I try to do an early shift. I catch a nice a nice double digit surge early in the morning. I'm looking for that 30 or $40 surge. Sometimes I catch a 20 or a 25, whatever. You do what you gotta do because you never know what's coming. But I try to catch that surge, get a ride to the airport, come back, um, and then try to catch something in the city, you know, uh, doing like a lift black or something like that. You know, you could set your destination too if you wanted to, but that's regardless, you know. I, I just say, have your system, have your designated time that you go every day. I think it's so important to build those habits. So you have your habit. Uh, my habit is this. I get up early and I'll do a little bit of workout. I'll do some push-ups, I'll do some crunches, and I'll try and catch, I'll watch my phone. I'm trying to catch that surge, that double-digit surge. I get on the road, I go catch a, a ride or whatever. Uh, I'll probably bring a banana, right? So let's eat some, let's eat some good food. You're gonna work out, you're gonna need some good food. So I'll probably grab a banana um, and, or a protein shake, right? That's a great breakfast to get started is a banana and a protein shake. You're going to get nice carbs right there and then you're going to get some protein to start your day off. And coffee, of course. Got to have my coffee. Uh, but so that's my morning routine. Like that, that's what I do. I keep my calories low. I, you know, I'm, I'm getting some protein in my diet and protein is very important. But somebody hit me up in my comments and they're like, they're like, oh, how's your health? You know, how's your, how's your health and how's uh, on, my, on my Monday on my Monday um, recording of the of the money I made the week prior, so so uh, that's what I'm doing on Mondays. I'm recording my the money that I made from the week prior, so you can everybody can see it and see what's up. And maybe you're beating me, and maybe you know maybe I need to learn something from you, or maybe you can learn something from me, whatever it is. But I'm just showing you that. And then somebody watched my video, and then they were like, "Oh, how's your health?" You know, trying to say something about my health. I'm like, "Bitch, my health is just fine. All right, I've been I've been sober for over a year." I've been working out almost every single day and then my body fat count is in the single digits. I just measured it today with a caliper, uh, fat caliper measuring tool. I'm in the single digits, right? 6% body fat. I work out, my weight's going up. I join, I join the gym, I work out all the time. And I say this, 
I, I'm telling you this not to brag. I'm telling you this because like with consistent, if you stay consistent with it, you can get in shape and you don't even need to do all this. I think one of the biggest contributors I have to losing the fat, especially that belly fat, is number one, just watching what I eat. You count your macros, right? So this is gonna be very important for you to get back in shape. So you wanna watch what you eat, count your macros. Your macros are your proteins, fats, and carbs, okay? So you wanna watch what you eat. A good way to get started with this is just is just track what you eat every day. So if you eat a bag of chips, well, count, count up all the protein, carbs, and fats. There's gonna be a lot of fat in there. There's gonna be a lot of carbs in there and very little protein, not good, right? We wanna eat like a, you know, if you're just starting out, you wanna do like a 50-50 proteins of carbs, most, uh, generally, generally speaking, all right? And you wanna keep the fat low. You want to keep the fat extremely low, um, especially if you're not active. You're going to need to do that. Now, the other thing is like on top of that, right? So track it every day and then track it for a week. And wherever you're at at, at the end of the week for all the other seven days, now you just want to start reducing that, all right? Take it, reduce it by 100, reduce it by 200 grams. You'll see what I'm talking about. When you add up all the grams, you'll see what I'm saying. Um, I'm sorry, reduce it by like 100 calories, right, per week. You start getting into that habit. I'll tell you what I'm at right now. I do 1,700 calories per week, and that's low. That's low. I'm hungry like all the fucking time. So that's what you do there. Um, you know, you can hit me up in the comments too if you if you have some questions about. It. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, so do that, and then you got to get some steps in, right? So you you the the steps are twofold. One, it's going to get your blood pumping. It gets you active. It's not like real intensive, you're walking, right? So you just wanna get walking. Um, you wanna do a couple sessions a day. You wanna hit 10,000 steps a day. That should be your goal, 10,000 steps a day. I'm telling you right now, I can get easily, when I'm waiting for my next ride at the airport parking lot, I can easily get in 5,000 steps. Almost every single time I can get in 5,000 steps. It's all you need, right? But you gotta make a daily practice of this. So if you're, if you're like, you know, you're trying to lose weight, you think that you can't, Give it a month, give it one month. I'm telling you, if you did this every single day, if you just reduce the amount that you ate every day, especially cut out the cookies, cut out the cakes, cut out that sugary bullshit, reduce the amount of fats that you have and take steps every day, right? It's not intensive. You don't have to worry about going to the gym. You don't have to be like, eh, wait, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to lift weights. All right, well, don't, right? All you have to do is, is watch what you eat and start taking steps. If you do this every day for one month in 30 days, I guarantee you, you lose weight. I guarantee you, you feel better. I guarantee you, your attitude changes. You're gonna be, you're gonna become more positive. Um, you're gonna be able to deal with all the situations that you have to deal with as a driver, dealing with people, dealing with traffic, red lights, all, all the garbage that we have to deal with. I mean, it's so stressful. If you don't take action to help reduce your stress on the job of driving all the time, especially if you're a full-time driver, you need to like. You need to take those steps to reduce your stress. Otherwise, you're gonna you're, you're really gonna put yourself in bad health. My health deteriorated so bad. I remember I, I was just like so I was in such a bad place when I was driving full time and I wasn't taking care of myself. And that's really why I'm making this video. I just see way too many Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, just out of shape. And I, I know what you're going through. I know what you're going through. It's hard. It's hard. It's a depressing job, and it really wears you down. But follow my steps. Watch what you eat. Reduce what you eat. Take steps every day. Okay, there's two things you gotta do and just do that for a month and watch how things turn around, all right? And then you come back and see me in a month, reach out to me, follow me on Instagram. My link is in the description. Follow me on Instagram. You can see all my workouts. I post every single day what I'm doing, uh, my workouts, how I eat, all that stuff, okay? So go ahead and check that out. Comment below if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.